Hello and welcome to Finnish with Anna. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I'm a native Finnish speaker. I teach Finnish here in short, easy lessons, both grammar and vocabulary. If you want to learn Finnish, please check out my other videos. Today's video is not a lesson though. Today I'm giving you a review of Duolingo's new Finnish course. First, two disclaimers. This video is not sponsored or affiliated with Duolingo. I knew they were developing a Finnish course and I found out via their newsletter that the course was ready. Secondly, I couldn't play through the whole course for this review, but I did play quite a bit to get a feel for it. So my review is based on those sections I played. I may update my review later if I think it's necessary. If you don't know what Duolingo is, it's a free language learning app and also a website. You can also pay to get perks. You learn languages mainly by picking words and constructing phrases and sentences. There are also some pronunciation and writing exercises. Let's open the app now. This is what the app looks like. On the upper left hand corner, you can see a flag that indicates what language course you are on. The spheres contain themed units of exercises. For example, Pets 1 here contains exercises with pet vocabulary. The spheres are grayed out if you haven't played through them yet, and they turn blue when you have played through them once. The top section here is an introductory section and contains six units. Hello, Good Luck, Basics 1, Basics 2, Pets 1, and The North. After it, we have Section 1. You can see the units it contains here. Family, Home 1, Phrases 1, Language 1, Barbecue, Sites, Fridge, Language 2, and Home 2. Let's look at how to use this. Tap on a unit. Let's choose Pets 1 and then tap Start. There are different types of exercises in the units. Some of them, like this exercise, asks you to listen and identify which of these words is being said. And you can listen to it as many times as you like. Pupu. 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 The most common type of exercise asks you to choose the right words to construct a phrase or a sentence. A third type of exercise is writing. The app asks you to write something, usually in the target language. Let me play this section for a while so that you can get a feel of this. Tämä pupu on söpö. Tämä undulaatti on söpö. Tämä undulaatti on kaunis. Sininen. 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 Tämä pupu on sininen. Tämä pupu on sininen. Tämä pupu on söpö. Se on undulaatti. Se on undulaatti. Se on Undulaatti. Se on sininen. There you go. This is Duolingo's new Finnish course. What do I think of it? First of all, I think it's wonderful that Duolingo did a Finnish course. I know it has been highly requested. I like the vocabulary. 
it definitely takes into account cultural nuances too and includes words and topics like sauna, kantele, the Sami people and so forth. There is lots of repetition which is good but it may frustrate some people. Overall the pronunciation is good and the person speaking sounds pleasant. I did spot some pronunciation mistakes in the units I played though. The language of Iceland, Icelandic, was pronounced as Islandi, when it should be Islandi. Also, the speaker pronounces the word jano, meaning thirst, as jano, with a long a. However, it is pronounced with a short a, jano, as in minulla on jano, I'm thirsty. Another pronunciation mistake had to do with the word limonadi, meaning soda. Firstly, this word is very rarely used in Finnish, and most of the time people say limsa, a shortened version of the word. This word was pronounced wrong in partitiivi. For example, I want lemonade, minä haluan limonadia. The speaker pronounced it as limonadia, but it should be limonadia. These are not major mistakes though, and as I said, I think the pronunciation was otherwise excellent. Still, it's good to be aware of that there may be mistakes in how some of these words are pronounced. It is good to know that with this app you are pretty much thrown into the exercises without first getting to explore and familiarize yourself with the vocabulary being learned in each unit. You can usually tap on new words though to see what they mean as you work on an exercise, but this isn't always available. You pretty much learn as you go. Some people will no doubt enjoy this, but again it may pose challenges for others who might like to familiarize themselves in advance with the vocabulary being learned. The sentences and phrases are generally good, if sometimes a little odd. There may be sentences about dogs speaking French and so forth. These are amusing though, and personally I think they bring a little fun to learning. However, sometimes there are downright comical exercises, such as this one. As you can see, this is labeled as a heart exercise and it involves you translating this girl's name, which doesn't change between Finnish and English. Some translations are also slightly off, such as this one. In it, paljon onnea has been translated as best wishes. It can be used, but paljon onnea is something you say when you congratulate someone on the grounds of something good happening, like a birthday, a promotion, a birth of a child, and so forth. The usual translation to English in these cases would be congratulations. The phrases and words are also somewhat scattered, mostly separate words and phrases that are loosely connected. Some people may prefer learning specific topics or themes in a more systematic way. So, learning with Duolingo requires concentration and the ability to remember sporadic words and phrases and connecting those in your brain in a meaningful way. This concerns all Duolingo courses though. As far as I know, they all use the same methods. Grammar also doesn't play a big role in these exercises. Therefore, in my opinion, Duolingo is great as a fun addition to your language learning Something you can do in short bursts whenever you have a little time. That way it keeps the language fresh in your mind even in those times when you don't have time to study in depth. So I would recommend you to check out the Finnish course and see if it can be helpful for you. That was my review of Duolingo's new Finnish course. Feel free to ask me questions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Mukavaa päivän jatkoa. Moikka!